Hello Year 12 and welcome back to the fourth video here for our eighth, eighth topic. We're looking at energy consumption and the cost of appliances today. It's going to be very similar to the previous exercise. The, uh, the basic knowledge that's behind it is the same. Remember power is how hard it is to make some appliance work. Whether that's our kettle or our toaster or a light bulb or anything that requires electricity. Power that's measured in watts or perhaps even kilowatts. That the energy that we use is the power multiplied by the time. Okay, and that's often you measured in kilowatt hours. So how many kilowatts multiplied by how many hours? That's what we get billed for typically is kilowatt hours, and it might be something like, you know, somewhere in the ballpark of maybe 30 cents per kilowatt hour, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. Sometimes, for various reasons, you might get billed at a different rate, right, a different price per kilowatt hour, depending on the time of day. Now, because traditionally we can generate a similar amount of power statewide at night time as we can during the day, and yet there is a lot less energy being used at night time, the power retailers will try to encourage you to do certain things that use a lot of energy at night time when it's quiet. Okay, This might be something like running your hot water system that can heat up a whole lot of water and keep it hot throughout the day. So it's not running all the time. We can just heat up that water at night time when it's quiet. They'll sell that energy to you cheaply because someone else is using it and that's called the off-peak rate. Right, it's a quiet time, it's off peak, and you might get your energy cheaper if you use it during an off peak time. The regular rate is just going to be called the domestic rate. So sometimes your power bill or your energy bill, as it should more properly be called, sometimes you'll be charged for the energy you use at two different rates a domestic rate and an off peak rate. So here we have an example, a hot water system that uses 9 kilowatt hours per day. That's probably a lot, but anyway, 9 kilowatt hours per day. The domestic rate is 50 cents per kilowatt hour, and the off-peak rate is 15 cents per kilowatt hour. How much money will we save over a 90-day period by operating the hot water system at the off-peak rate compared to the domestic rate? Well, let's calculate them and see what the difference is. So I'm going to start by calculating the domestic rate. So I'm going to say how many kilowatts is 9 times the number of hours. Now it's 9 kilowatt hours. We said we use this for... Oh no, it's 9 kilowatt hours. That's pretty straightforward. So it's 9 times 0 0.5, right, or 50 cents, 9 kilowatt hours, 50 cents, times 90 days, equals, it's got, that's going to cost me $405 for my three months for running the hot water system during on the domestic rate. So let's write this down here. We said that was $405. Let's try that again at the off-peak rate. So this time it's going to be 9 by 15 cents, 0 0.15, times 90. OK, back to the calculator. Oops. Now I'm just going to use the arrow button here. You should be familiar with using this thing because it can... Um, Let's speed up your work a little. So this time only 121.50. So we'll come back to here. 121.50. Oops. Now the question is, how much will we save? Let's come back to the calculator. Okay, and another bit of a time saver. We're going to say 405 minus my previous answer, like that. Equals, so we save 283.50 over that 90 day period. We better write that down. Any calculation that you're doing, 
you should write down on your page. And you know what, I forgot the answer. 283.50. $283.50 saved. Righto, that's it for uh, the cost of using electricity or using energy. Any questions, of course, jot them down, ask me in class. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you then.